Our story starts back in 1844, in not-so-merry England, where a group of weavers, fed up with the high price of company store groceries, pooled their money to buy their own food, creating a new form of business, the cooperative. The idea caught on. Here in the U.S., President Roosevelt gave electric cooperatives a jumpstart with the founding of the Rural Electrification Administration, the REA, telling American farmers and ranchers, if you want electricity, you can do it yourselves. And they did. Rural men and women quickly began scraping together the $5 needed for membership and equity in the co-op. Up went the poles and wire and lines to bring rural folks what they so desperately needed, power. Soon, electric cooperatives popped up all across the country, transforming the way of life in rural America. Today, there are more than 900 electric co-ops in the U.S., bringing electricity to some 42 million Americans. So how do cooperatives work? First off, cooperatives are not for profit. Money comes in from members when they pay their electric bills. Money goes out to pay co-op expenses. A little bit is set aside for emergencies and the future. Any leftover is returned to members. Pretty sweet, huh? But it's not just about the money. Co-ops exist only to serve their members. They have a unique set of cooperative principles. All may join, regardless of race or gender or creed. That's the first principle of cooperatives. Voluntary and open membership. Members vote for the directors to lead their co-op. They vote yay or nay on big issues. Majority rules. That's the principle of democratic member control. Everyone pays a little money to become a member. An owner. We call that principle participating economically. Cooperatives believe and invest in education, training, and information. That makes them smart and sets them apart. Cooperatives stand on their own two legs. Decisions are made locally for local people. We call that principle autonomy and independence. But cooperatives also work together. They join forces to restore outages after storms, get financing, do research, and speak up in the halls of government. We call this hallowed principle cooperation among cooperatives. It's what makes us strong. And co-ops have a heart, a big heart. They help kids and industries and communities to grow. They give to hospitals and fire stations, ballparks and businesses. Cooperatives deeply demonstrate this principle, concern for community, community, Community is a cool concept. Communities are just groups of people. And that is the cooperative secret ingredient. It's the dedicated people who work day in and day out to provide reliable and affordable power. It's the elected people who shape the policies and tackle the big issues. For the most important group of people, the members. Members, the whole reason cooperatives exist. Now that's the cooperative difference. And that's the cooperative advantage. Brought to you by the passionate people of NRECA.